So I'm Adele Bates and I'm a behaviour and education specialist. I work mainly with students with SEMH, which is social, emotional and mental health issues, and particularly students with um, challenging behaviour. And you've just delivered a workshop around SEMD and the new statutory RSE and stuff. So what are your kind of yeah, top tips for people wanting to know? Okay, it's a good question because we started this um, looking at the legislation and we have a couple of paragraphs specifically about how to adapt the new RSC for SEN yeah. uh, and SEND and <laughs> so there's not much specific guidance there and my suggestion is that we have these conversations, we share this practice but really if you're a teacher who maybe is not used to teaching this subject specifically with SEND students the place that I would start are asking yourself two questions who are your pupils and what are their exact needs and from there, then it's our job to recreate, adapt those resources, speak to parents and carers in a way that works for those specific pupils, those people in front of you. That's the starting point. So in terms of who are your pupils, what, what do you mean? What does that look like? What are you trying to figure out here? That's a good question. So rather than, um, I would start rather than looking at, okay, they've got this label, what does that label mean? Actually work out who's sat in front of you. Yeah. Um, also being aware, Lucy, the keynote um, earlier spoke about we don't just have, um, for example, students with SEN um, and people from faith schools. Guess what? It could be both. And there's an intersectionality there that we have to be really um, aware of. So getting to know your students is about really getting to know the people in front of you first and then maybe going to um, general guidance about how to support their, their particular needs. And how do we work out what their kind of needs are? Do you have any tips for that? Ask. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me elaborate. So, um, and I'm aware that's not even uh, always completely doable, particularly with students who are non-verbal, for example. But what I mean by that, the theory behind that, is really ask the students in whatever way works and believe them. They will soon give you uh, feedback if what you're trying doesn't work. And you can say to them, why is this not working? What's, what is the difficulty? I've had experiences myself. I thought a whole lesson hadn't worked found out later they just didn't like sitting next to the door. Oh. It was as simple as that. So it is about asking those questions and then believing them and adapting your teaching around that. Perfect. If people want to find out more about you or your resources, where do they go? They go to my website, which is adelbateseducation.co.uk or I'm on the Twitter machine on Adele Bates Z.